Hello, I'm back in my squeaky chair. Uh, the the heater is on, so you'll probably be hearing the heater in the background. And it's been a week since I got um, what's this called? A new wire put into my mouth, and I got purple rubber bands instead of you know the plain silver ones. So, so. A little update. My last appointment, obviously, they changed my rubber bands. I got a longer wire and I got a new spring. Which you probably can't tell, but my initial spring was just, you know, like coil, coil, coil. But then this one is like coil, 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 a space, coil, coil, space, and then it, it re repeats. A longer coil, a narrow co coil. So it was alternating, and that's what I got to open the gap more and the main thing that they said was fingers crossed they don't think we need to extract teeth so yay also the other thing I scheduled two more appointments the next one they're gonna just you know change the rubber bands the second appointment after that in April we're gonna change the wire rubber bands and we're gonna do the bottom row which is very crooked compared to my top row now. It's exciting, but yet also I'm very, not terrified, but like, I'm not looking forward to having that red thing back in my mouth. If you know the story, then you know the story, but it was just not fun for me. So my boyfriend also said, wow, your teeth really got straight. Have you really looked at your teeth? And I was like, no, I looked at my teeth, I brush and floss. But then he was like, did you really look at your teeth? Like, did you just look at them? And I didn't really think about it. And I was like, hmm, I guess not. And when I finally did, I noticed that my bite, because my teeth were, you know, opening up and making space. I didn't realize it. But so let's pretend this is my, my, my teeth, my top row, my bottom row. So before my braces, I had a little overbite like that. But now, I move forward, so I have a bigger, bigger gap. But that's what happens. I have a larger space between my top row and my bottom row. So you can probably see my bottom row of teeth are in the shadows now. After I actually noticed and realized that happened, it made sense now because this lip, you could really feel the bottom of my braces and I was just like, weird I didn't put you know one and two together my teeth are moving duh so after that I started playing with my with the gap so now my tongue can if I put it to the roof of my mouth it fits within my teeth but then when I plop it back to the bottom row my tongue is kind of like whoop, has to slide back down and I was like oh my god this is so weird I was just so mind blown but this is what it feels like when you realize your teeth are moving and there's now more space in your mouth now there's just more room in my mouth which is weird and i always thought hey i just have a short tongue no it's probably because my teeth are not perfectly aligned so my tongue is trapped in my mouth Th this is how i'm making it out to be so that's how i feel that's what happened uh what else oh so i got a water pick water flosser which is fun to use but i still floss with my floss further and floss oh and that gap right there. Oh my goodness, a lot. Okay, hmm. Let's just recollect thoughts here. So, after my appointment, I got a smoothie because I really wanted a smoothie and I didn't really feel anything. I was fine. I was like, oh yeah, there's a new spring in my mouth. There's a new wire. Things are happening. But it, it wasn't like pain or like uncomfortableness. It was like, ah, there it is. That night we went out to dinner. I was really craving ribs. So, what did I get? I got ribs. I got ribs and rice, and I also wanted corn. My boyfriend looked at me and he was like, you want ribs and corn? And I was like, yes. So he was just like, how are you going to eat that? Well, the fork and knife, duh. And then he was still trying to convince me not to get corn. He was like, how are you going to bite into that? So I told him, I get the corn, I get my knife, and you go, ch -ch 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 -ch. yes, I wanted to eat ribs, but also the menu said, fall off the bone ribs and I'm, 
I know they just put that in there to be like, hey, we have some good ribs. And I've had good ribs before, like, I've had fall off the bone ribs and they were, hmm, so good. But, these were not fall off the bone ribs, so they lied to me. False advertisement. That was kind of upsetting. I still, you know, fork and knife that. And the corn already came cut in a bowl, so didn't have to worry about that. But after a while, I was just tired of chewing. I ate like one and a half ribs. A couple hours later, I wanted to eat again because I didn't finish my dinner. But then I could really feel my teeth. And every time I bit down on something, I could feel it. And it was a bit sensitive. And I'm like, ah, I can feel it. I can feel it now. Oh, yeah, it's um, kind of sensitive. I didn't want to eat anymore. First and floss. Flossing. Oh my goodness. Huh. Sensitive. Alright. But whatever. I floss my teeth and I'm just like, alrighty. Next morning, woke up, felt it. And I was just like, I'm gonna have ice cream for breakfast. And my boyfriend did not stop me. He said, okay, go for it. So, my appointment was on Tuesday. By Friday, I was okay. I still couldn't fully bite down and chew my food. But it wasn't that bad. I could eat. After two days, I could floss my teeth properly without it being uncomfortable. This gap over here, I noticed already moved by the second night when I had to floss. Before, when I was flossing, the teeth were like right on top of each other. So like, I really had to floss in there. Or not even the second night. The first night, that night, after coming home from changing my wires and stuff, or wire and rubber bands, there was already a gap. There was space between my twist, my twisted tooth. Like this tooth in the front and the tooth that's twisted used to touch each other. But after getting my wires changed that same night, there was already a gap. And I'm like, what? In front and behind my twisted tooth, there were already gaps between the teeth. And I'm just like, huh, that was fast. And then the second night of flossing, there was even more space. And I'm just like, huh, we're moving. Come April, we're gonna have a full mouth of braces. Let's see how well I can handle the first couple of days with it on. I remember the first time I got my braces in, it made me really sleepy. This time around, not so much. New wire, new spring, new rubber bands, purple. And then April, when my bottom rows put in, not bottom rows, but my bottom wire put in, and just that, put that in. Hopefully I won't cry. <laughs> ah, I'm so lame. Oh, also, I didn't realize this until my appointment and I was just waiting in the in the lobby area or the waiting room area, same thing, I don't know. Um, my orthodontist has little tubs of chapstick. You know, like how, I don't know if they do this. Well, they probably don't do this now, but like before, at grocery stores or even at the doctor's office or the dentist I have like a little bowl or a jar full of candy and you just take one when you leave well they had a bowl not bowl a jar filled with chapstick and I looked at my boyfriend and I was like was that always there? when I left this time I took chapstick I did because I am picking whatever they're gonna give to me. Free toothbrush? Oh yeah, I'll take that because I need it. Chapstick? Oh yeah, I'll take that because I need it. I'm not gonna go to the store and pay for more chapstick. Even though chapstick's like what? Pack is like three bucks, two pack, pack of two. Depending on what chapstick you get. But this was for free. The chapstick is gonna go by real quick. Each month, I need chapstick. Each month I go back, get a chapstick. Boom! Thank you. If you have free chopstick, free toothbrushes, free wax for my braces, I'm gonna take it. Thank you. That's it. So, if you're gonna get braces or if you have braces and you don't see these things available to you, ask them. Ask them, hey, can I have another toothbrush? Mine is kind of messed up. Maybe they'll give you some. Or one, not some. Hey, I need chopstick. Do you guys have chopstick? They'll probably give you. A chapstick. Hey, I need more wire for my- What more wire? They're not gonna give you more wire. <laughs> but hey, I need more- What's it called? Wax for my- Braces. Do you have some that I could have? Boom. They might give you some. So, just putting it out there. I didn't re realize these things until I heard a mom tell their kid, Hey, grab a chapstick. And I'm like, just letting you know, if you didn't realize this before, 
there you go. Or if you're if you're about to get braces, if you need something, ask them for it. Okay, bye. My teeth are getting straight.